How's it going everyone? Today we're on another small lake in the canoe. This time we're in New York State though. This lake is stocked with rainbow trout and brown trout and it also has like perch, smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, crappie, and rock bass, all the warm water species like that. But we're gonna be targeting rainbow trout and brown trout. So what I got is I got some lead core poles. I got the trusty uh, trolling motor. I'm gonna have another little video on that showing part two of the trolling motor mount. If you can see it right here, this is the trolling motor mount. I also have one of our ice flashers rigged up on the side of the boat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some small little spoons on our lead core poles, and then we're gonna start trolling. We're gonna get down around 25 feet, and then we're gonna show you guys, hopefully a bunch of rainbow trout and a bunch of brown trout, so stay tuned. Okay, so we've been, we did our first pass trolling. I got a quick fish on, and she's got a, a spoon on. We're trying, we're probably about 100 feet or so on the lead core, maybe down like 20 feet, 25 feet maybe 15 to 25 anywhere in that range I haven't gotten anything yet but we're marking lots of fish may have had one nibble we'll see what happens still trolling trolling motors working excellent my this is actually my dad's trolling motor he's had this for a very long time and still works out great it's only 12 pounds of thrust draws about 10 amps but for a canoe this size that's all you need you don't need more than that because otherwise you'd flip over so hopefully we get a fish let's see what happens Got motor going, trying to get this fish in. We got a little large mouth. Look at that. Took us all afternoon. Finally got a fish. There it is. Nice little large mouth. We were trolling for rainbow trout this whole afternoon. Finally caught a nice little large mouth. Take a look at that. There he is. All right, we're gonna go ahead and release him now. Get him back in the water so he can go back and swim. There he goes. Back to the depths. All right, so I caught that one bass. I'm current, we're in the same spot. I'm trying to get one more or two more so I can salvage a little bit of this video. We trolled for so long for rainbow trout, but we couldn't get any. So the lake's stocked, but Right now I'm just using a tiny little jig and a rubber minnow on there. I'm just kind of jigging along the bottom. This rod is definitely oversized for this, but I like this rod, so. Unless I catch a massive bass. We'll see what happens. Got one more fish on. One more fish. Nice little black crappie. I actually don't catch many crappie, really, to be honest with you. But I actually, I've, when I was a kid, I used to come here and we caught crappie under this dock. This one's super healthy looking. I don't think he's keeper size, nor would I really want to keep, but we're going to let him go. Bye, little guy. Oh, yeah. What'd you get? A little fish. Oh. What, do you know what kind of fish it is? A crappie. Close. Rock bass. Rock they bass. look so similar. Okay. What do you think? He's so little. I feel so bad. Can you see it? Yep. Oh. It's so cute. Nice. Okay. I, I just got him off. I tend to grab him like right over here so I don't spike you. Just a nice little rock bass. We're gonna let him go now. That's three. Three fish. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. We only caught three fish, a largemouth bass, a black crappie, and a rock bass. We were going for rainbow trout and brown trout. We trolled for quite a while, lead core but I haven't been here 
in many, many years since I was a small kid and we used to go on this canoe. Wanted to come back. We didn't get any trout. I've caught them here before, so I know they're in here. We'll have to come back and get them sometime, but we ended up just coming back over here for some bass. This is what I caught on the black crappy and the largemouth bass on, just a tiny little perch imitating soft plastic. But I think that's a 1 16th or 1 8th, it's probably a 1 8th ounce jig head, not too big. And then she was using a, um, it's pretty much the same thing, except it's not a yellow perch, it's a um, small little rainbow trout or something, and she caught the rock bass on that. So all in all, not a bad day. It was really nice and calm out today, really fun day. You guys should definitely, if you have a canoe, put a trolling motor on it, get out there, go fishing, because a lot of us are on lockdown and stuff too for coronavirus, so might as well get out there and enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to browse my channel and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and stay tuned for more content.